Hello everyone, welcome to Chemazon Complete Chemistry. So in today's video, we are going to solve some more question in the part three of the same paper that we were discussing. So first question is identify nourish type one or type two. There were two molecules that were given. It was a MCQ type of question. Only one option was the correct option. So first of all, we must know what happens in a nourish type one and nourish type two reaction. So if we talk about nourish type one, which alpha hydrogen is, uh, which hydrogen is abstracted? It is the alpha hydrogen that is abstracted. What is the meaning of alpha hydrogen? It means this is alpha carbon. This is a functional group. The carbon next to the function group is alpha. Second is beta, gamma, delta, and so on. So for nourish type one, alpha hydrogen is abstracted. And for nourish type 2, which hydrogen is abstracted? Gamma hydrogen is abstracted. Okay, so here if we see, so first what we have to do, first we have to always check for nourish type 2. Okay, check for nourish type 2 reaction, whether gamma hydrogen is present or not. Why we are talking about gamma hydrogen? Because in the process, a six-membered stable transition state is formed. Six-membered stable transition state is formed. Let us see how. So this is alpha, beta and gamma. Gamma here, there is this hydrogen that is to be abstracted. Okay, here if we see, this bond will break homolytically like this. Okay, so what we will get? We will get this oxygen radical. Here there is one radical. Alpha, beta. This is alpha, beta and this is gamma. Okay, here there are two hydrogens attached and then there is this group. Alpha, beta, gamma and then there is this group. So here if we see how many membered transition state is formed, this oxygen interact with this gamma hydrogen. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So that is why I was saying this is the 6 membered transition state that is formed. Okay, so here if we see this is above the plane that is at the equatorial position. So oxygen can interact with hydrogen that is the gamma hydrogen. So in this molecule, which reaction will take place? In this molecule, nourish type 2 will take place. Okay, because here type 2 is possible, first you have to check for type 2. And if the nourish type 2 is not possible, then type 1 will take place. Nourish type 2 is not possible, then type 1 will be taking place then nourish type 1 takes place. Here if you see, this is alpha, beta and gamma. This gamma hydrogen cannot be abstracted as it is far from the carbonyl group. So here what will happen? This bond will break. This is which hydrogen? Hydrogen attached to alpha carbon. So this is alpha hydrogen. Okay, so here which reaction will take place? Nourish type 1. Okay, so where the, the longer chain is on the equatorial position, nourish type 2 will take place. And where it is on the axial position, away from the carbonyl group, then nourish type 1 reaction will take place. Now, let us see this reaction. This is which reaction? Before that, let us see the reference for this. This is a direct question taken from this book. This is a very, very important book you can write down its name and most of the questions many questions from jam gate and tsir net also are asked directly from this book okay this question was directly taken from this book this is which type of reaction this is called as phenacol coupling okay let us see how this reaction takes place first let me draw this Reactant again. 
T double bond O H T double bond O H Okay, so there is one more question here titanium chloride is used so you can get confused between Mac Murray and this reaction so for that you can check the options whether in McMurray what happens an alkene is formed okay intramolecular if it was a McMurray reaction okay then this would combine okay this two will combine and we will get what we will get a alkene this is McMurray coupling but for that what you can do you can check the options in all the options there was no such product form so McMurray coupling will not take place here okay because there also we use a titanium salt so first step is what happens first step is the carbonyl bond will break homolytically again the radical type of mechanism okay here there is on this carbon there is one radical on the oxygen there is one radical this oxygen forms a bond with the titanium of the catalyst that is used okay the titanium chloride that is used it is attached to this metal from the same side that is very important from the same side okay that is mean that is what is the meaning of that it is syn addition in addition means addition from the same side okay and now this this two radical will combine and form a bond so what we will get we will get a six membered ring okay and afterwards what will happen this will break this oxygen titanium bond breaks and it will pick up a proton. What will be the final product? Final product will be a six membered ring. And both the hydrogens are sin to each other. That is, they are added from the same side. So the stereochemistry will be same. This is the product you can see that is formed here. Okay, what is the name of this coupling? What is the name of this reaction? It is called as Pinafol coupling. Okay, this is a very very important book you must read all the chapters from this book and most of the questions are directly taken from this book now let us see the next question this was a reactant that is given first step is we know that silicon has an empty d orbital empty d orbital this is one point second is Silicon fluorine bond is very very strong. It is a very strong bond. Okay, it is a very strong bond because of the electronegativity difference as well as because of the very good overlap between the silicon and fluorine orbitals. Okay, so what will happen? F minus will donate its electron to the silicon, empty d orbital of silicon. This bond will break like this. OTF is a very good leaving group. So what is the first step? First step is formation of an intermediate. Okay, these benzene electrons are like this. Here we have got this pi bond. This is which intermediate? This is called as benzene intermediate. Okay, now next step is we have to add this. We have to add the secondary acid. Now second molecule if you see, second molecule if you see it is this double bond pH. Now there are two ways in which you can break this bond. Either you put the electrons here. Okay, there are two ways. First case what we can get is we will get negative charge here and positive charge here. Another way of breaking this double bond is positive charge is here and negative charge is here. So always remember, always you have to give preference for the stability of what? Stability of the carbocation. Carbocation. So here if you see it is a secondary carbocation. Whereas here if you see it is a very stable carbocation. Why? Because it is involved in resonance with this 
pi electrons of this benzene ring. So this pi electrons will stabilize the carbocation. So this is the more appropriate structure. This will not be formed. And wherever there is a negative charge, there metal will be attached. Okay, and this will attack the benzene that we had drawn. Let me erase this. Okay, this is a benzene benzene intermediate pH positive charge negative this will attack here this will open up what we will get we will get benzene bond okay this is this carbon Okay, let me number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 1. Here there is pH. Okay, positive charge. Now what will happen? Here the negative charge that is formed that will pick up a proton and it will uh, become benzene ring. Now there are two possibilities for elimination. One is we can move this proton here. Let's say this is A and or another way is not these two. One of these two protons can move here. Okay, so what we will get? We will get two possible products. One is this one. Okay, here there is a double bond and pH. Okay, if I draw this properly, it will be double bond. Here we have pH. Here we have pH. So if you see, if you had seen the options carefully, this was not present in the options. Okay, if you draw the most stable alkene, this is not present in the options. Okay, so this is might be the minor product because of the because of the two phenyl rings. It might be unstable. That is why this product was not given. Ideally, this should have been the major product, but this can be formed. But this was not present in the options. This was pathway A. Next is B. If we follow B, what we will get? We will get benzene. Here we have double bond and pH. Okay, this product was present in the option. And that is the correct answer. How we can write this? Double bond, pH and pH. Okay, so this is the correct answer. Now let us see this question. This was a question based on silicates. Okay, from the topic of silicates. What is a general basic structural repeating unit in silicate? It is SiO4 4 minus. The most basic structure is called as the ortho silicate. Okay, and what we had to find out the vertices in contact of each other for silicates. Now, what is the meaning of vertices? Here we are talking about the oxygen atom. We are talking about the oxygen atom that is in contact. So this is the first one, SiO4, 4 minus is the charge. You can see this yellow circle. Okay, if I draw the representation, the yellow circle is what? Yellow circle is here, it is oxygen. Okay, and the red dot that is shown, red dot that is shown, that is the silicon atom. Okay, so it is a tetrahedral shape. So it is the actual structure is like this O minus O minus O minus and O minus. Okay, this I can represent as four oxygen atoms one, two, three, and one is above the plane. Okay, 
okay and in between there is silicon so in this way you can get the this is the basic representation for silicate okay so first one is the ortho silicate here you can see all the four oxygen are separate they are not in contact with anyone so for here the total vertices will be z is equal to 0 okay there is no oxygen in contact with any other silicate second one is it is called as pyrosilicate okay pyrosilicate here if you see two units between two units this oxygen is common so here the value of z or the sharing number is what it is equal to 1 okay so for pyrosilicate it is 1 third one was cyclic silicate cyclic cyclic silicates if you see for one unit if you consider this unit one and two oxygen are in contact so here z is equal to two and last one was sheet silicate this is the structure of a sheet silicate you can see suppose i consider this unit okay here this atom is common this oxygen atom is common and this oxygen atom is common so three oxygen are shared so for this sheet silicate z is equal to three so what was the correct answer the correct answer was I'll write here for ortho it is 0 for pyrosilicate it is 1 for cyclic silicates it is 2 and for sheet silicate it is 3 so the correct answer was 0 1 2 3 I hope you have understood all the solutions for in this video we will discuss some more questions based on physical chemistry once we get the question paper thank you so much